So we're on the uh, Capazzoli angle project and we're about to grind it. So I have already uh, dressed the wheel. It's kind of boring uh, to watch. And I've now set up the wheel so that we are above the work. And I set it up so it's just at the rear of the work. And this is pretty important because we're about to tell the machine where it is, okay? See if we can get you there. There we go. So we're above the work and we're to the rear of the work. So now we come over here and we say, you're at the rear. We tell it that. We say that we're going to use the uh, table stops set number two. And then we come over here and we say, okay, I'm on the manual here. Uh, this is the left side of the work, and we hit left, <clears throat> we come back up here, and we say, this is the right side of the work, and we hit right. Now we just have to tell it where the front of the work is. Let's see if we can do that. come over here and we say you're at the front of the work now the only uh, other critical thing is to touch off so I'm going to touch off the work so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the wheel down so you see that light under the wheel I'm going to bring it down about as far as I dare. And now I'm going to uh, run the work manually. Okay, so now I'm, I know I'm clear. Now I'm going to put the, the table into automatic mode, the wheel does nothing, and turn on the table feed, and now I can set the speed. So that's pretty good. And then I come over here, and I set it to 0 0.1 ten thousandths of an inch per click on this wheel, and now I'm just gonna very slowly bring it down That's it. So now we're ready for automatic operation. We can come in here and double check. We're set up for five thousandths total down feed. We're set up for a tenth per rough, roughing pass. And everything else we're gonna do manually. Okay? So we're gonna close up the, uh, the machine.
okay? <clears throat> Come over here, double check. We set up five thousandths down, set up the rear, we set up the front, we set up the left, we set up the right. Uh, we're good to go. And all we have to do now is start the cycle and it will start uh, going, let's start it with zero down feed. So basically it's gonna start the cycle but not really go anywhere. And we're also gonna put the the feed rate override to zero. You'll see why in a second. We're gonna set a Y zero and Z zero. And we can bring the speed up a little bit. Good. So now basically the machine is doing nothing. <laughs> and we can turn on the cross feed here and we'll turn it on to 40% just to let it start to do its thing. And you can tell it's cross feeding right there. So it's now starting to grind. Not much. I'm, I'm comfortable with this. So I'm gonna to go to 100% on the cross feed and I'm gonna start with um, two tenths down. And what I'm gonna do is just watch it. We can bring the speed up a little bit. So let's watch what happens when it, oh, it already went down two tenths. So it made a two tenths step down and it's starting to grind. Let's see if I can get you a view in here. It's hard. So I'm gonna go to three tenths. So it just went down three tenths and it's starting across. And there you go. So this is the process. This is called uh, semi-auto mode, semi-automatic. And that's where these knobs come into play um, but the machine is basically operating uh, in an automatic mode. When I grind stones, for example, I'm in what's called full automatic mode, which is a little different. So I'm going to finish this up, and I'll post some pictures, um, and I'll show you what this looks like. Since the long side of the angle finished up with three thousandths, we just came over here and programmed uh, three thousandths. And then we come down here and we said, rough it at three tenths per pass, leave one tenth for fine grinding, take that one tenth uh, in your last pass, do one spark out, and then something that's not obvious is it reduces the step feed by an amount that we specify. So in the, in the final, uh, in the fine finishing, it's only taking about 10,000 step feed. But in this case, we're able to figure out the process with the first edge and then just dial it all in on the second edge and walk away. And that's exactly what happened. So the machine is, is getting ready to finish up uh, on the second side, the short side. And this thing uh, should be done for this particular setup. It's important to note that when we ground the long side, we removed the block, set it aside, cleaned everything, brought it back uh, after stoning the chuck, stoning the squaring block, set it back in place, got everything aligned, and did the second, uh, the second phase. So 
we're very careful to keep the uh, angle and the squaring block uh, from getting bumped, but they're pretty tightly connected right now. So we are copying the angle from the squaring block onto the square that we're grinding. It's a copying process, but we previously calibrated that and we know that it's almost perfect because Steve Barton did such a great job. The machine just finished. Let's take a quick look. Uh, if I could do this one-handed with a sense of humor, wait for the coolant to stop. Now remember, never use a compressed air around a grinder. Let's take a look. That looks pretty nice. Pretty darn nice, if I don't say so myself. So both of these sides are now done. There's nothing else we could do with this setup. We'll break down the setup and uh, we'll think about the next one.